going straight to the ingredient list of Dr. Rachel Vitamin C Brightening and Anti-Aging Face Serum um, that contains hyaluronic acid. It has a lot of promising benefits, which I don't want to question them, but I would tell someone that is using Dr. Rachel Vitamin C Face Serum not to expect too much. Yes, don't expect too much. If you ask me to rate this product, I will be rating it um, 6 over 10. The ingredient list starts with aqua, then it, there's glycerin, then there's propylene glycol, um, then there's a corn gluten amino acid. Then going down to the bottom, please. I want to go down to the bottom of this ingredient list because there's the 3O ethyl ascorbic acid. Now, it's a derivative. It is not your regular form of ascorbic or elascorbic acid. This is actually a derivative and is a much more stable derivative. Yeah, a much more stable form of vitamin C. It has um, characteristics of brightening the skin, actually. It also provides um, the necessary um, boosting of your collagen. It's also an antioxidant. Um, the thing is that ethyl ascorbic acid can actually be used for even up to 30% without any irritation. But for the fact that I'm not saying it must be used, what I'm trying to say to you is that it's safe for use for as high as 30%, just the way your ascorbic and elascorbic acid can be used as high as um, 15, 20, 10%. So I'm just telling you how ethyl um, ascorbic can actually be used in that manner. But the fact that it's coming towards the tail end of the ingredient list is quite questionable because for me, once an, an active for that matter is almost at the end of it, I don't think it's effective enough even though there's the hydrolyzed collagen in that product yes then there's the sodium hyaluronate there's also fragrance in it and then there are some colorings there are some oxides I mean, yeah well being the fact that it's a stable form of vitamin C so it's not just going to like kind of oxidize easily do you understand and then there's the hydro generated castor oil the good thing about ethyl ascorbic acid is the fact that it's both water and oil soluble and no wonder um dr rachel vitamin c has the serum and it also has the oil because it is a dual kind of ingredient that can be soluble both in oil and water and there's the carboma because this is the serum so it's a jelly um it has a jelly base so there's the carboma in it and then there's a trietyl triethanolamine of course it's necessary because the carboma needs to gel in an alkaline condition yeah so definitely it is used to boost um the ph of the liquid in order to hydrate um, to hydrate the carboma and like I said earlier, there is the phenosethanol. Okay, I didn't say that earlier. I'm just saying it now. I'm sorry. Uh, there is the phenosethanol as a preservative, and there is the hydrolyzed collagen. Okay, being the fact that this ethyl ascorbic acid is at the tail bottom, so probably the benefit of the collagen will come from the hydrolyzed collagen itself. Okay, okay. But like I said earlier, this is like a six over ten for me, and. I wouldn't expect too much. They said it's going to neutralize free radicals to prevent and reverse sun damage and fins and fade sun spots and discoloration. For me, if you ask me, this might be promising too much, but it is what it is. So when you're using this product, you shouldn't expect so much. You know, that's the problem with some um, 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 people. When they go for a product, they go for the benefit, which is good. It's very, very good for you to know the benefit of what you're buying, the ingredients, you're, the product you're buying, the ingredients, benefits. But what I'm saying is that some benefits could be exaggerated. And then you, as the consumer, will be expecting too much. And if it doesn't work, you can easily get worried. It is telling you here that it will... Um, the, the, the doctor Rachel vitamin C face serum is telling you that it's going, it's, it's going to um, be very effective to help fit um, sunspots, discoloration, refined skin texture, reduce wrinkle formation. For me, things that have to do with wrinkle is mostly in the category of the retinoids. This will also help, but not with this kind of low amount of your ethyl ascorbic acid and the fact that ethyl ascorbic acid is an ingredient that can be used as high as 30 percent so it tells you that it is not so potent at a lower percentage 
if it makes sense. Let me give you an example of another derivative that is very potent. Let's say your sodium ascorbide phosphate is a potent form of um, vitamin C that can be used within the range of 2 to 3 or maybe even up to 5%. You understand without any irritation so what does that tell you now that is an ingredient that has a much more higher strength since it cannot exceed five percent you understand what i'm trying to say to you but for an ingredient like your ethyl ascorbic acid that can go as far as 30 percent so it tells you that probably being in a formula at five percent might not even be noticeable i don't know if it makes sense Drop your comments in the comment section and I'll answer it. So I hope with a little bit of this, my ingredient review, because it's actually a pretty much straightforward um, product with very minimalistic um, ingredients, obviously, like I mean, minimalistic from little. And the fact that it does not have vitamin E in it is what, for me, it's a little bit like, why don't you have vitamin E? Because at the end of the day, um, ethyl ascorbic acid is still coming from your ascorbic acid. You understand? So I think um, putting an antioxidant like your vitamin E or tocopherol would do a lot of good and then like i said earlier there is fragrance there are some coloring i don't want to repeat myself too much thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want me to review more ingredients of ingredient list of some other product let me know i can go on the website get the ingredient list and come sit here and talk to you about it so thank you so much and hope to see you in another video mm -hmm.